Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am finally back with another Bible journaling entry that I completed on today. Um, first things first, I'll share with you guys the products that I use and then I'll share my Bible journaling page. So the first um, thing that I'll share are these washi tapes and I use um, this one looks like little watercolor dots. This one that has words going around it and this gold tone one right here that was in my stash. So the first two came from this creative devotion, um, these creative devotion washi tubes that were on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, and so one came out of this pack and one came out of that pack. But as I always say, use what you have. Um, Bible journaling, you don't need special tools or anything like that to Bible journal with. You just use whatever whatever you got in your stash, honestly. Um, I also use this. This is a um, pad from Creative Devotion. And it is a vellum watercolor pad where it always already looks like watercolor is on there. And so I did use that. I also picked that up from the clearance sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, I used a sticker from here. I got this from Tuesday morning. And these are like little epoxy stickers that are shaped like... Um, it's not an octagon because it's not eight-sided, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, maybe. Um, but anyway, I use these some of these epoxy stickers. Um, I also used some of these crosses. And I may have gotten these from Kendra, um, 504 Pretty Things here on YouTube. I think she might have sent this in a little care package. But this was $1.19 at Tuesday morning. Um, either I got it or she got it. I can't remember. I just picked this up recently, shared this in a haul video. Love this little girl, um, Die by Jane Davenport, and it was $5.99. And that is the SKU number, just in case you're looking for it. Or, you know, I don't think that the SKU is working, but that is what it looks like. And then it also has that word Toda on it. Um, then I also use this die set from all, uh, also from Tuesday morning. I got this um, a couple months back and this one was $3.99. It has these really cute fluffy clouds on it. Um, I used my roller date stamp and I'm not sure if this is Amy Tangerine or no, this is this one has the word scripture on it. So this is probably a um, creative devotion or something like that. I can't remember, but I used the date stamp. Um, that one, this date stamp actually has um, words that say my prayer, sermon by, sermon today, prayer, Bible study notes, favorite verse. And it has some, about eight, uh, I'm sorry, five other um, words on there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there we go. But I didn't use the words over there. I only used um, the date part. And all you do is just ink up part of your stamp. And if you get ink over here, you just you know, wipe it off and use the date stamp. Now, I really like this one because if you can see right here, number eight is showing and number eight corresponds to love. So you'll know what this word is right there. So that's pretty cool. But that is the one that I use for the um, for my entry. Um, I did use a few of my little printables from, these are um, Maggie Holmes uh, Bloom Collection printables. There's some bees, flowers, and butterflies in this little package. Um, I did also use a die that I cut out, um, but I didn't I didn't bring the word die with me, but it was inside of this little package that I had made and shared with you guys a little while back. Um, I also used um, these. I wanted to try these out and see how they worked. Um, these work great. I picked these up also from the um, Hobby Lobby sale. These were $4.99 on clearance love the colors the colors are very very pretty and they worked really well um i also used um this arrow out of this pack this is uh so fancy by simple stories and i got this a while ago but i just wanted to use the little arrow some of the pieces are actually back there they just kind of fell off the chipboard but that's chipboard and last but not least i use some of these letters that you can pick up from the dollar tree and they're just in the black color and it's just two sheets of letters. Um, so 
those are all the things that I use, plus, you know, some water in my sewing machine and some sequin out of my stash. And so let me share what my Bible journal entry this week is. So my scripture comes from Matthew. And this is Matthew 7. No. Matthew 6. <laughs> Matthew 6 and 25. And this is my entry for this week. I'm trying to get it all in frame, but a little difficult. So let's see. Okay. Well, we'll start there. So this is my page for this week. Um, as you can see right over here, I did make a little shaker using that um, vellum paper from creative devotion. All I did was I put it in my We Are Memory Keeper sewing machine and I just did a simple, the smallest zigzag stitch all the way around, leaving part of it open. I filled it with um, sequin and then I just sewed the rest. That's it. That's all you do with that. And it does shake around really easily. Love the way that came out. I also left the thread um, on there because I just like the way it looks coming out of my Bible. So I'll start at the bottom. So at the very bottom, I use that gold washi tape here. And then this is where I use the word washi tape. And this is the watercolor little dots washi tape. And I use that because it really matches the watercolor or the, the you know, the gel crayons that I used here by Creative Devotion. So before putting on all of this stuff, I did take the gel crayons and just kind of scribbled on top of this page. Now, going back just a few, just a little bit, underneath this panel right here, there was some white um, paint. And it was like a white matte paint. And the reason was because I had already completed this page right here. And as you can see, there's white, not white, but like a cream color paint right here. So whenever I finished this page, I flipped it on the back and noticed that there was a lot of bleed through. And so um, I did the same cream color paint on that, you know, on this side of the page but I never completed this page. So there was cream color paint underneath there first. And what I did was I just took the gel crayons and just rubbed them, just scribbled them on, and then took a small paintbrush and just painted and blended the colors in, okay? So underneath here, even though this is watercolor vellum, underneath here is watercolor. And you can kind of see it right down here at the bottom. And it worked really, really good. Um, so here are the printables from AC Digitals, and that is from the Bloom Collection. Here's another printable right here, and this was printed on vellum, and it's a flower. Um, the bees were also print printed on vellum, so here's one here, there, and there. I love printing on vellum, and you can get printable vellum from Hobby Lobby as well. This is the little dye girl that I cut from um, that dye set from Tuesday morning. I just thought she looked so cute hanging out right there and I did print her um, cut her out of gold um, poster board that you can pick up from Hobby Lobby anywhere you can get the big sheets of poster board and just cut it down and use it in your die cutting so she is glued right there on top of my little vellum shaker then there is um, these cross right here and those are the puffy cross that I either got from Kendra or I picked them up myself from uh, Tuesday morning here is that lovely um, die cut. Again, I cut these out a while ago and had them in that little pocket. And so I just used it right there. Um, this is a card from, I believe this is from um, uh, Maggie Holmes, I think. It was sitting on my desk and I thought, perfect for what I needed for. It says, happy life. This is where I use the date stamp right here, October 13th, 2019. This is my scripture right here. I just used that same pink gel crayon, you know, underlined it and then came back with um, some water and just kind of colored it to blend it out, you know, blend the gel crayon out. 
These are those epoxy stickers, the little hexagon or, you know, hexagon stickers. So I have one here, one there, and one there that says truth. This says, this is the scripture, do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? So that is what I um, did my journaling based on. Here is that chipboard arrow pointing to my scripture. And this is where that cloud um, die cut came in right up top. Up top, I did the word washi. And then I did the gold washi up top to finish it off. And so this is how my page came out. I'll lift it up a little bit so that you can see it a little bit more. And as I stated, you don't have to have Bible journaling items to Bible journal in. You don't even have to Bible journal in your Bible. This Bible is made specifically for Bible journaling. I've had this Bible for, I don't know, two, three years maybe. And I've done a lot of Bible journaling in here, as you can see. Um, if you guys would like a flip through, um, just let me know and I can come back and do another flip through of this particular Bible. It's getting really, really chunky. Everyone always asks me when I show my, this is one of my favorite pages. I love this girl stamp right here and I love how she came out. I actually used um, color pencil to color her up with and that was in 2018. Um, everybody asks me what kind of Bible this is. Sorry, that's a picture of me and my girls. But um, it's by Zondervan. And it is the NIV Journal of the Word Bible. And um, I'm just trying to see if I can find any other information. Here is a little bit more information right there. And... Um, can't remember if I got this offline or if I got it in a in a um a store that um used to you know we used to have a store here um in my area but I can't remember I can't remember where I picked it up from but I'm sure you can get it on Amazon so if I can find it on Amazon I will link it down below otherwise you can do a Google search and look up NIV Journal of the Word Bible by Zonder Van. This one was copyrighted in 2015. And so um, you'll be able to find it very, very easily. So that is about it. That is my entry for this week. And now I have to find it. There we go. That is my entry for this week, guys. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.